dreams that you dream of, dreams really do come true. Ooh, 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 ooh. Someday you wish upon a star, wake up where the clouds are far behind. Be where trouble melts like lemon drops, high above the chimney top. That's where.
the safe passage to and from our destination today. Jesus name, I pray. Amen. Amen. This is kind of impromptu, as I just been told to come up and address the family. So I apologize, I didn't have anything prepared. But what I'd like to do uh, is ask Miss Sally where she has any. my life. I've met many. Jerry, you will stand up in my life. Something I never thought would ever happen again in my life. But we truly have a loving relationship with respect for each other and respect for each other's way of living and thoughts and desires and plans. And I I've tried to my very best to follow those exactly as you wish. I will miss him more than life itself. I never left him a day alone because I know he would have never left me a day alone. And all I can do is let him know this is not surprising to we meet again. Thank you all for being here and supporting my family. I understand we have uh, four harbor survivors here in our midst, and it's a great honor to be here to even address you. So if you would, if you would like to, you guys, I would open the floor to you to come up and say a few words. Thank you very much, gentlemen. I found and I really enjoyed knowing uh, I think we all know he was a Member of the ship of uh, West Virginia, which of course went down at Pearl Harbor December 7, 1941. The jury was forced to survive that and spend the rest of the war in the uh, different ships. But we're all going to miss him. He's a fine guy. My name is Lee Sandifer. Harvard and Sons and Daughters Pearl Harbor Survivors, past national president. I too am a survivor of the attack at Pearl Harbor. To give you a little bit of the flavor of that day, without preparation of words, the USS West Virginia was tied outboard to the Tennessee or the Maryland? Outside, okay, it was outside the uh, Tennessee. The Japanese naval force dropped as many as nine torpedoes at the West Virginia. The fire, the smoke, and the smell was tremendous. Behind the, the West Virginia was the Tennessee and the Maryland and the Arizona and the Nevada. Most of you know the Arizona took a direct hit. The bomb went through the deck down to the magazine and exploded, killing over 1,100 crew members that day. These guys that were on the West Virginia had to abandon the ship. They had to jump into the water, which had oil that was burning, and swim through the oil get to Fort Island, where they could be go ashore, and then they would turn around and they would help one another to find places where they could apply first aid uh, to their home, to their shipmates. Needless to say, it was a very terrible day. I'd say day that, well, as Franklin Delano Roosevelt put with an infamy, infamy, and I can only say that as a small child, age three, I still remember uh, the attack, or I have images that I can remember about the attack. West Virginia being one of the worst ships for here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, 
on behalf of our family, we sincerely thank you guys for coming out to pay respects to my grandfather. And we appreciate all the service that all of you that have been in the military, either past or presently serving, we appreciate all that you have given. And we appreciate the fact that you have coming out here to pay your final respects to Jerry. As he said in his own words, he did not join the Navy for the honor, but to learn more about respect, dignity, and to honor those people who could not fight for themselves. And today, he is being laid to rest amongst a lot of other men and women who have also gave that to their best full measure. And I want to thank you guys, everybody coming out on behalf of the family to pay your final respects and to support our family. Hi, my name is Dwight Hansen, and uh, I get the honor of kind of hanging around with you guys and uh, getting to know the Pearl Harbor survivors. Um, my father was in World War II, and I just wanted to uh, share a passage of uh, scripture that I think is very appropriate for not only the gentlemen here that have honored us with their presence, um, that have all served, uh, but also those that have gone before us and our brothers in arms that didn't make it, and sisters in arms that didn't make it. Um, and it's out of uh, John 15, 9 through 17. And it says, As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Now remain in my love. If you obey my commands, you will remain in my love, just as I have obeyed my Father's commands and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and that your joy will be made complete. My command is this, love each other as I have loved you. And one verse that I think is particularly appropriate for the company that we have here today in honoring Jerry for the, the, the choices that he made in his life is John 15, 13 that says, greater love has, that has no one than this, that he laid down his life for his friends. And we see that Jerry had made that, that decision to try to, to, that he would be willing to do that. And like many of his shipmates who didn't make it that fateful day, um, Jerry was blessed enough to make it. And like the gentlemen that we have here, I know you all have friends and brothers and sons and fathers that, that made the ultimate that sacrifice it as well. And Jesus Christ tells us that no one has greater love than those that did this and laid down their life for us and for our family and for our children. It goes on to state that, um, that you are my friends if you do what I command. I no longer call you servants because a servant does not know his master's business. Instead, I have called you friends for everything that I have learned from my father, I have made known to you. You did not choose me but I chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. Then the Father will give you whatever you ask in my name. And this is my command, that you love each other. And we saw Jerry, how he loved through all the, the things that he did, where he was talking to schools, where he was serving on different, the Pearl Harbor National Committee, how he reached out to people, his, his, his great smile, his, his warm handshake, his embrace. You knew that Jerry was a friend to all, and that he had this love for other people. And um, I'm reminded what Walter Ehlers, um, who's a Medal of Honor recipient, who's not, uh, not very far from here, said that they not only did it for their brothers that they were fighting with next to them, but they did it for their children and their children's children that they didn't even know yet. And that's why they went and fought. And that's why they stood up for freedom. And that's why they paid the ultimate sacrifice, was so that our children, my children, are able to live in a land that is free because of the people that laid down their lives. And so. Today I just want to honor Jerry and um, and just say that um, that it's, it's been an honor and it's been a privilege and 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 that he has has shown so much and I just hope that we can continue to remember him and and um, yes. I, 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 okay I'm, I'm sorry. so I just you know that that we uh, that we honor him and remember him and I want to thank you all for coming and, and thank you all you gentlemen for your service and thank you it means a lot to us and, and I know to the family that you're here today and, and I really appreciate it and, and just thank you so much. Going once, going twice. <laughs> just because you don't have the floor now doesn't mean it doesn't stop after this. So 
you know, he, your, his, uh, his legacy is left in your memories. That and you will always have. So you see that close to your heart. Uh, I'm going to leave you one scripture and I'm going to let you go. Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens me. Something I hold dear to my heart and I just want to share that with you all. Uh, Patriot Guard is going to form one last flagline for our honorary before you be And after that, we're dismissed. But I just want to say thank you and God bless you all.